Welcome, everyone. I am your host, Aldridge T. Abington. Thank you. Yes, Aldridge T. Abington. Few men have had a career more crowded with incident and various intercourse with the world than I. During extensive travel through this and foreign lands, I have procured a show so fantastical there exists nothing like it. Anywhere. In an effort to bring this entertainment to even the poorest dreamer of dreams, I have determined the ticket price should be very low and the show held without a profit. To me, it's true. For it is blessing enough to bring these gifted artists to you. I yep, met these yeah. odd fellows in a tavern in some godforsaken place, entertaining cretins. They are quite a capricious bunch, presenting Miss Marjorie and her medical miracles. Yo! Yeah. Yeah. Magnificent! I'm a master of apparition! Oh my god! And dissipation! <laughs> and even the art of <laughs> transfiguration! <laughs> All right. We Oof. want more! I have mastered hypnosis! Telekinesis, telepathy, and escapology. 
And now, You'll for my next feat, I will relieve Miss Marjorie of her for this Doing your nasty little pervert? What? Wait, damn it! We were gonna give them a show! You're not like that, you're not! I give up! <laughs> Amateurs! <laughs> Go follow your brother! Well, that's our show! <laughs> Thanks, Sandini! Well, tiny people and tiny-headed giants, curious things. They are a delight and can make you money. So, before you snuff out that oddly-shaped baby, bring them to me! I discovered this next act in a tiny village in Italy. Truly the most exotic of places in the world. He was just a ten-year-old boy. I raised him, I bathed him, yeah! I shaved him from head to toe. You he is truly a wonder to behold, presenting Benjamin Lazarus! Mate! and mystical prowess, my dear ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's unfortunate fact that in this mortal coil we are all born to suffer from all manner of maladies in daily life. Who here has not had a friend or loved one near death's door from coal gas fumes, typhoid fever, diphtheria, or the bite of a rabid animal? Oh. The greatest wealth is your health. All the gold in the world cannot purchase it, and yet it is the most delicate and tenuous of all life's gifts. And nothing knocks down death's door faster than this. <laughs> a man cannot outrun a bullet. Many fools have tried and failed in this endeavor, including the tonic salesman I caught bedding my wife. <laughs> I joke. I joke. Hey, no show, <laughs> I assure you, he has met his maker and they are playing gin rummy among the molten lava of Hades. Oh, <laughs> I have traveled all around the world, this delighting young and old with all manner of feats of amazement, but none are as dangerous as what I am prepared to attempt tonight. I, I will hand this Didi Packenbush revolver over to my assistant and stand at considerable distance across the stage. She will point the revolver at my head and pull the trigger using lightning quick reflexes taught to me by a tiny man I met in the distant orient. I will catch the bullet in my teeth. Yes, my teeth. To prove that these are indeed live rounds, if my sharpshooting assistant would be so kind as to shoot this bottle of Lalicola off my head. This is insane. Yeah. This is the best off shot. my head. Careful. Yeah. I could do without a bullet in the brain right now. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sweet Jesus. That bit always scares me. <laughs> now, observe as I. The great Benjamin Lazarus will do what no man has ever done and cheat death as if it were nothing. What is he doing? What? This what they call entertainment in this town. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. 
Let's do that again. Hmm? Right. Hmm. Oh, I can't take it. You're pulling my leg. This is a bunch of dang balderdash. Ah. Oh, <laughs> a skeptic. Hmm? And Benjamin Lazarus, I assure you, I am not participating in some hoax or carnival ruse. These bullets are 100% real. In fact, I challenge any member of the audience to come forward with their own firearm, and I will yet again display my uncanny skill to catch a bullet in my teeth. Is no one enough? Come on, someone, stand up and take a shot. Okay, okay. If nobody else is gonna expose this phony, then I will. I trust you are a good shot, sir. I can shoot a fly's wings off at a hundred paces. Excellent, my good man. Now, ready? <clears throat> take aim. <laughs> and fire. Gentlemen, death is just an illusion, after all. Yeah!